Eric Rise, The Lean Startup presents a comprehensive methodology for the development of prosperous startups. The primary thesis of the publication posits that nascent enterprises ought to prioritize education and experimentation rather than solely constructing a product and relying on customer acquisition through happenstance. The Lean Startup methodology is predicated upon the notion of crafting a minimum viable product, which is a product that incorporates only the essential features necessary to address a particular issue for initial adopters. The minimum viable product is subjected to early adopter testing to ascertain its efficacy in addressing their pain points and to gauge its market viability. Utilizing user feedback, the product undergoes iterative refinement until it achieves optimal alignment with the needs of a broader consumer base. The literature additionally espouses the utilization of the build measure learn feedback loop as a means to expeditiously iterate through the developmental process and render data informed determinations. The Lean Startup is a seminal publication that has emerged as a fundamental pillar of contemporary startup methodology. The book's emphasis on empirical investigation and knowledge acquisition has garnered resonance among entrepreneurs, investors, and corporate innovators alike. The Lean Startup methodology has garnered widespread adoption among numerous startups and has emerged as a fundamental doctrine for various accelerators, incubators, and innovation labs. The pivotal notion presented in the book pertains to the minimum viable product, which serves as a crucial discernment. The primary reason for the failure of numerous startups is attributed to the development of a product that is excessively intricate, costly, or does not align with the market's demands. By prioritizing the minimum viable product, fledgling enterprises can effectively gauge the viability of their concepts with initial adopters and expeditiously refine their offerings in response to input. The implementation of this strategy enables nascent ventures to mitigate risk, optimize resource allocation, and maintain a customer-centric approach. The Build Measure Learn Feedback Loop represents a pivotal concept expounded in the literature. The iterative process of ideation, experimentation, data analysis, and knowledge acquisition is fostered by this feedback loop, which incentivizes startups to expediently develop and assess their concepts. This methodology enables nascent enterprises to circumvent the drawbacks of conventional product development, wherein a considerable amount of time, sometimes spanning over several months or years, is expended in constructing a product prior to its validation by the target audience. The implementation of the Build Measure Learn feedback loop enables startups to make informed decisions based on empirical evidence, leading to rapid iteration and decreased development time and expenses. The segment pertaining to innovation accounting within the book is notably intriguing. The proposed framework presents a systematic approach to quantifying the advancement of a nascent enterprise and ascertaining its alignment with predetermined objectives. The fundamental principles of innovation accounting revolve around three pivotal metrics, namely the baseline, innovation accounting metrics, and the pivot. The baseline represents the initial stage of the startup signifying the present condition of the enterprise. The innovation accounting metrics serve as a quantifiable means to gauge the startup's advancement towards its objectives, encompassing key performance indicators such as customer acquisition, retention, and revenue. The pivot represents a calculated and deliberate shift in the firm's trajectory, informed by the empirical insights gleaned from the innovation accounting metrics. Through the implementation of innovation accounting, startups can leverage empirical data to make informed decisions and maintain a steadfast commitment to their objectives. The book highlights the crucial notion of validated learning. The process of validated learning entails the formulation of a hypothesis, followed by the design and execution of an experiment to test the hypothesis with the subsequent measurement and analysis of the results obtained. Through the implementation of validated learning, nascent enterprises can expeditiously evaluate their concepts, assimilate insights from the outcomes, and refine their approach in accordance with the feedback received. By adopting this approach, startups can circumvent the pitfall of constructing a product predicated on conjectures and suppositions, and instead develop a product grounded in empirical data and customer feedback. In the grand scheme of things, The Lean Startup is an indispensable literary work for individuals who are actively engaged in the realm of startups or pioneering advancements. 
The literature presents a lucid and executable approach for establishing thriving startups, grounded on the tenets of experimentation, education, and data-centric judgment. Through a strategic emphasis, fledgling enterprises can effectively mitigate risk, optimize resource allocation, and maintain a steadfast commitment to customer centricity.